I take a gander at this. Good morning. What a gorgeous day, yeah, huh? So far, so good. No, better than good. The sun is shining, the juice is fresh squeezed, and the buns are warm. Try one? No, thanks. I just had breakfast. Charlie. Oh, come on. Maybe have it for brunch. Oh, those smell good. Yeah, try it. Look oh. at that. Ooh, when it's hot and sticky. Woo! Jack, these are good. They're yeah, good. Mm. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful start to a great, great day. Trevor, you know something I don't know? Hey, today is the day that Janet Green is going to be put behind bars. What's not to love about that? Look, I hate to burst your bubble. Well, don't. I'm trying to keep a positive attitude here. I appreciate that. I'm just trying to say that we have a lot of work ahead of us. I know. I know. It ain't over till it's over. And just because Judge Hale ruled in my favor doesn't mean that Janet's going to stop going after Amanda. <laughs> no, not very likely. Nope. I've been up all night pacing, thinking about what she could come up with next, trying to get inside of her head pretty creepy. Now I'm just trying to hold on to positive thoughts. Trying to. Nobody's bringing you down, Trevor. No, no. We just want you to... I just think we should be realistic when we go in there, that's all. <laughs> there ain't a realistic bone in Janet Green's body. She's gonna haunt me until she's behind bars, locked up, until I am, whichever comes first. Belinda, your office told me I could find you here. How's your brother? Sleeping. Improving? He's still listed as guarded. Janet, what are you doing here? I was worried about Out Noah. Out of phony concern, Janet, what do you want? I need my lawyer. <gasps> Can't help you. No, don't say that. Look, I, I, I was sent these summonses by the district attorney's office. Justin and I both received them. We could be facing harassment charges. Well, after what you did to Mrs. Martin, that shouldn't surprise you. I need your help. You need a lawyer? Try the yellow pages. But you're my lawyer. Not anymore. You've got to help me. Good day, Miss Green. No. Belinda, wait. No, don't go. The vehicle stopped, rounds were fired, and the vehicle sped away. No stop sign or light there? No, no reason to stop except to take aim. Hmm. Nobody else around could have been the target? Well, Kendall Hart's not exactly winning any popularity contest, but no one's after her with a gun yet. Excuse me. You wanted to see me? How's Noah? It's about the same. I'm in charge of this investigation. Oh, uh, yeah. So I gathered last night. And you saw the cooperation I was getting. Really, Taylor, what do you expect? Someone almost killed Noah. I'd expect him to want the perpetrator locked up. You know his background. Yes, but this is no time for him to be playing boys in the hood. We need his help. Can you think of a reason why Noah should trust the police? Well, we have to change his mind. His life depends on it. What do you mean? I've been piecing together the incident. It wasn't random violence. I don't think Noah believes that any more than I do. Someone wants Noah dead. And I'm convinced that when they find out that they failed, they're gonna try again. Wait, let go of my arm. 
I'm facing harassment charges. They're going to put me back in jail. Well, look at the bright side, Janet. Harassment is a far cry from attempted murder or kidnapping. They are not going to stop until I am back in jail for good. I need your I help. I want you to listen to me, Miss Green. I am under no legal obligation to represent you any further. What about your moral obligation, oh, Belinda? I will not even dignify that question with a response. I am all alone in this. There's Trevor and Dixie in the DA's office, and they're all out to get me. They want my blood. And if there's any justice, they'll get it. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. I mean it. Now, you listen to me, Miss Green. A lot of attorneys will defend or represent anyone, guilty or innocent. It doesn't matter as long as they can pay the fee. Everyone deserves a fair trial. Me? I don't like being on the wrong side. You made me an accessory after the fact. You lied to me. I did not. You're pathological. Not to you. I told you the truth. You don't even know the difference. And just between me and you and the paint, I think you did tamper with Mrs. Montgomery's brakes. I never touched you Laurel's car. You planned her accident. You tried to kill her. I did not. That is outrageous. Just because your brother got shot doesn't make him the god of truth, you know. Noah did what he thought was right. And I wish they would have nailed you in that garage. I've doubled the guards at the house. Oh, that's a good idea. What I really like is a moat full of alligators. Claim more mines around the perimeter. You really think Janet's going to do something that drastic? Oh, you can bet your sheepskin. Well, she's not going to accept Judge Hale's decision. She played by the rules. The gloves are off. I'm on red alert. Yeah, and now she's free to roam around Pine Valley, so anything could happen. All right, that's all the more reason for us to give Tanner our best shot. And make sure he gives maximum penalties. Well, for what she tried to do to Dixie, she ought to be in jail. What she tried to do to you, she should be under the jail. Hey, look, let's be realistic. The most we can hope for is conspiracy to harass and perhaps malicious loitering. Now, at best, maximum sentences on both of those is going to get us two years. That's all? That's all. If we can get the DA to prosecute. Well, that's never going to happen sitting around here. Look, let me grab my jacket, my papers, and we'll get out. Whenever you're ready. Two years. So with time off for good behavior, that's what, two weeks? Hey, if I can get Janet out of my hair for two days, it's going to be worth it. It's just not fair. Who said life is fair? Well, it ought to be. Wish you were coming with us. Probably better I, I just stay right here. You're looking pretty great. You look pretty great yourself. Must be the company I keep. Listen, good luck today. I'll be thinking about you. I'm always thinking of you. All right, let's do it. Hey, right behind you. So keep me posted. Hey, yeah, I'll give you a call. Let's show what happens. See you there. Good luck. 